In this video, I will be listing and describing organelles in plant and animal cells. First, I will focus on the ones in both types of cells. Then, I will list a few exclusive to the plant, and finally a few exclusive to the animal. In the eukaryotic cell, the cell membrane is composed of a phospholipid bilayer with embedded proteins. It is what separates the cell from the outside environment. The membrane is differentially permeable, meaning it controls what enters and leaves the cell, i.e. substances that include O2, CO2, H2O, food, nutrients, and waste. The membrane anchors the cytoskeleton, providing shape to the cell, and interacts with other cell membranes to form tissues. Cytoplasm is the name used to refer to the entire contents of the cell within the cell membrane, minus the nucleus. Cytosol is the liquid within the cell and is a complex mixture of substances dissolved in water. The nucleus is the control center for the cell. It contains DNA and the instructions for building proteins. The structure of the nucleus also includes a nuclear envelope with an outer and inner membrane and the nucleolus, which produces ribosomes. The protein factories. They assemble proteins from amino acids bound to transfer RNAs. Ribosomes appear in two forms. One is free, meaning they can move anywhere in the cytosol except in the nucleus and other organelles, and the protein it produces is used within the cell. And the other is membrane-bound. In eukaryotic cells, this takes place in the rough ER, and the proteins produced are inserted directly within it. The endoplasmic reticulum, or ER for short, forms an interconnected network of tubules, vesicles, and cisternae in cells. The rough ER, with ribosomes attached, synthesizes proteins. The smooth ER, among other things, synthesizes lipids and steroids and regulates calcium concentration, drug detoxification, and attachment of receptors on cell membrane proteins. One of the first organelles to be discovered because of its large size, the Golgi apparatus, composed of membrane sacs, is the UPS of the eukaryotic cell. It processes and packages macromolecules such as lipids and proteins and ships them throughout the cell using vesicles. Mitochondria are double membrane enclosed organelles described as the powerhouses for the cell because they produce adenosine triphosphate, otherwise known as ATP, from cell cellular respiration, sugar plus O2 which is used as a source of chemical energy. Peroxisomes are involved in the catabolism of long fatty acid chains, branched fatty acid chains, D-amino acids, and polyamines. Peroxisomes have a li lipid bilayer membrane and, contain, and sometimes have a crystalloid core. They contain enzymes for detoxification of many biochemicals, including alcohol. Contained within the cytoplasm and made out of protein, the cytoskeleton provides structural support for the cell, as well as motility, and organizes the structures and activities of the cell. Found in the cytoplasm of most plant and some animal cells, vacuoles are membrane-bound compartments that serve a variety of secretory, excre excretory, and storage functions. In plants, a central vacuole occupies over 30% of the cell's volume and contains large amounts of cell sap, composed of water, enzymes, and other substances. The vacuole's job is to maintain turgor pressure on the cell wall. Because of osmosis, water diffuses into the vacuole. If there is a significant loss in turgor pressure resulting from water loss, the cell will wilt. Vacuoles in animals are part of the processes of exocytosis and endocytosis. Exocytosis is the extrusion process of proteins and lipids from the cell. These materials are absorbed into the secretory granules within the Golgi apparatus before being transported to the cell membrane and secreted into the extracellular environment. Endocytosis is the reverse of this. With up to three strata, or layers, 
The cell wall gives the cell rigidity, though this rigidity is often overestimated. The cell wall is still flexible, but has considerable tensile strength. As stated by John Holland in The Surprising Arca Discovering Another Domain of Life, Think of the cell wall as a wicker basket, in which a balloon has been inflated so that it exerts pressure from the inside. Such a basket is very rigid and resistant to mechanical damage. Thus does the prokaryotic cell and the eukaryotic cell that possesses a cell wall gain strength from a flexible plasma membrane pressing against a rigid cell wall. The strongest component of the plant cell wall is cellulose, a polymer of glucose. Though plants can make energy from mitochondria, they also get energy from chloroplast, flat disc contained in a phospholipid membrane. Chloroplasts are the organelles responsible for conducting photosynthesis, converting sunlight and CO2 to ATP and sugar. Plasmodesmata are microscopic channels that traverse the cell walls of plants, connecting the cytoplasms of adjacent cells, allowing molecules to travel between the cells through the symplastic pathway. Centrioles are barrel-shaped structures typically made up of nine triplets of microtubules. Found only in animal cells, centrioles help coordinate cell division. There is only one pair in each cell. Composed of a cluster of microtubules within an extension of the cell membrane, the flagellum acts to provide locomotion to some animal cells. Sacs that contain digestive enzymes including lipase and amylase. They are the waste management centers of the cell. They can digest food to make energy and clean up and recycle old broken organelles. They can also digest foreign bacteria and other waste and can even serve as a membrane patch to seal a wound in the plasma or cell membrane.